The Quantum GP700 is made of ballistics-grade Kevlar-infused carbon fiber. It has a twin supercharged motor and a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. But it wasn't built by a racing team or even a bespoke custom manufacturer. No, it was built by one man in his small shed in Australia. And it's no primitive Florida man kit car either. This thing has some serious power and surprising technology hiding under its beak. So how did this insane racing masterpiece come to be? Why on earth is it street legal? And most importantly, how do you get your hands on one? Travel with me to the Australian Outback to learn more about this homemade hypercar slayer. The Quantum is a culmination of my lifelong dream to build a supercar, says Jeff David. That dream began in David's small garage in Victoria, when he purchased a cast-off Ariel Atom. He was near his 50s at the time, and started with nothing more than a vision and an overdose of ambition. The basis for his hypercar project was an Atom, a road-legal British performance roadster which is about as close as you can get to a superbike while still having four wheels and a seatbelt. While it doesn't share a lot in common with the final GP700, it made a great foundation for David to work off. He took apart the car piece by piece, learned how it worked, and extensively modified it to produce 600 brake horsepower. With that experience and a little more knowledge under his belt, David put the atom aside and began the long, arduous journey of assembling his own road-going track slayer. It was a process that took nearly four years to go from a computer simulation to a drivable prototype. Heck, that's nearly as long as we've been waiting for the next Mazda rotary. The GP700 has a custom aluminum chassis designed with help from Melbourne University and RMIT. The suspension is handmade as well, featuring top-mounted springs in the nose similar to an atom. Like everything in the car, it was made with inspiration from top-tier super sport motorcycles. Another sport bike-esque feature is the six-speed sequential paddle-shifted transmission. It can change gears at a lightning-fast pace with just the flick of your hand. But this isn't some sketchy, half-made garage build. The GP700 has a carefully custom-coded, adjustable, predictive traction control system using an Autronic unit with Motec software. And trust me, you're gonna need all the help you can get wrangling this beast's power. It has not a 500, not a 600, but a 700 horsepower Honda K-Series mounted in the back. In a lightweight, open-top car like this, that is a scary amount of power. Even the most veteran drivers should bring an extra pair of pants. These staggering horsepower gains were achieved by expanding the four cylinders to 2.7 liters of displacement and adding dual superchargers. The first screw adds power up top and the second smooths out delivery. David claims it can do 0 to 60 in around 2.6 seconds and approach speeds over 170 miles per hour. And those are some seriously supercar rivaling numbers. Part of that is in thanks to the innovative exterior of the Quantum. The handmade carbon wing was styled after Formula 3 cars, and the nose is made as thin as possible to be more streamlined. The whole thing is made out of a unique carbon fiber weave with ballistics grade Kevlar and aramid cloth. It's not only incredibly lightweight, but also flexible and unbelievably strong. While regular carbon fiber will normally shatter into a more billion dangerous splinters in an accident, this stuff on the Quantum GP is supposed to hold its shape even under extreme duress. And oh, if you buy this car, it will experience extreme duress. <laughs> The acceleration alone can generate 1.2 Gs, and downforce is so tight it said the car could even drive upside down. It might be home-built, but the Quantum GP700 is no affordable exotic. David said it cost him over $300,000 and four years of manual labor to assemble it. But now that all the design work and the molds are done, building more should be much easier. Back in 2015, there were rumors the Quantum GP700 would be mass-produced at a price of $700,000. And there might even be a hardtop model offer down the line. Now, unsurprisingly, the response to these numbers were not exactly positive, considering cars in the same niche like the aforementioned Atom or the KTM Expo have a price tag much closer to 100k, or even less. 
The current Quantum website denies these rumors, saying, quote, To set the record straight, none of this ever happened, and the pricing was purely hypothetical and not based on the current car. No actual official figure is given for the current models, but Jeff David says he may only be able to build one more before retirement. With a Koenigsegg rivaling power-to-weight ratio, an insane Formula 3-inspired exterior, and some of the most cutting-edge technology, it's hard to believe the GP700 began as a single man's passion project in his home garage. It's even crazier that this thing can drive on the ceiling and there might only be one more left to buy. Would you take this Australian hypercar out for a spin or opt for the more affordable Ariel Atom and KTM Expo? Let me know in the comments and hit the subscribe button while you're down there. I appreciate everyone who has watched all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for all the support and I'll see you next time.